So um, one, another one of the, the questions that came up a lot in our cohort this year, uh, and particularly as it related to the, the passion that, that, that people are feeling around racial justice at this moment in history, um, is objectivity. And is it possible? And is it, is it uh, you know, I'm not a journalist. I just, when I write, I get to just pontificate. So I, <laughs> I, I, I don't even know how to, how to think about this question, but I, think I wonder you if you do. Objectivity with believing that the audience is full of white people and that we're writing for them, right? So, so to me, I always say, I don't really care about someone's point of view as long as they're telling me where they're from, right? So I want to know, but this idea that somehow having a background or a point of view is a bad thing, I don't think is always true. I actually thought uh, being Afro-Latino in covering Black and American Latino America was helpful. Like I felt like I was an insider and an outsider. I could push people harder because I knew the issues well. Mm -hmm. um, so I don't know. I, I, I feel like... Um, what's what, what does it mean to be objective uh, is it having no opinion whatsoever on something is it having no background i'm more than happy to hear uh, what i've tried to do and certainly for a matter of fact we try to elevate the point of view and the discussion of experts right so so if you are the ambassador to china then i want to talk to you about china i might agree with what you're saying i might disagree but you have an, a, a, a level of expertise that will inform and educate my public mm -hmm. in a way that's gonna be valuable. You, obviously that person has a point of view, right? It's gonna depend what administration were they brought in, what were their experiences like, all of that stuff. And I get to provide that context, but I think they have something to say. But this idea that nobody has an opinion on anything is kind of odd and just weird. I'd much rather have them say, listen, I grew up in a trailer park. So I found blah, 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 blah. Here's my point of view and here's I want to understand their point of view, I guess I would say. Uh, I think pretending people don't have a point of view is a mistake. I don't think it's accurate. I also think my point of view on certain things is utterly irrelevant in a story. If I'm doing a story on the best flavors of ice cream, I might tell you I only eat chocolate. It's the only kind I like. But really, who cares? Right? I'm not an expert. Hopefully, I'm going to do a good job making sure you're hearing from lots of interesting people that you're going to say, wow, that was a great story that she did. I understand she doesn't eat anything but chocolate, but who knew blah, 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 right? Like that's the, that's the goal. Otherwise, are women not allowed to do stories on women? Are black people not allowed to do stories about people of color? I mean, it would be our Latinos not allowed to, our Asians not allowed to cover uh, the president's slurs about coronavirus? Of course not, that would be insane. So I think it's much more about kind of transparency and making sure that you are covering people fairly and always elevating experts.